Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Orion Road has fallen. Lord Rieg, I swear that I will not allow your death to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this Duna tree? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed bloodline will live on. And the kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. What do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tailteen Plains. Ah yes, the Tailteen Plains. The same plains where the so-called Divine Seros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lug created the kingdom by defeating the emperor of the time on those very plains. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes, I suppose so. Although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Seros, we would likely come up short. The kingdom's army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. We must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that, at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We're the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor, you have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. Oh, I realize it. I will protect Edelgard. Please, don't get yourself killed trying to protect me. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood? All right, let's take one last look around the monastery. Is uh, this is it? This is the beginning of the end. Uh, take it from the top. Professor, 
This month, we will take all of the military force we can muster and advance to the kingdom capital of Ferdiad. I have no intention of retreating to Garrig Mark after we've come this far. We will only return after we've conquered Ferdiad and put an end to this war. Be sure to steal your heart and ready yourself for the battle ahead. Yeah, I'm ready Are for anything. Certain? If so, please help me raise the morale of our allies. Uh, sure. That's easy. Hey, Leone. Professor, looks like we're finally getting to the end of this thing. Don't go dying on us now, all right? Yeah, same to you. Planning on it. If you're still alive when this is all over, then I'll have kept my word to Captain Gerald. Let's both live to see the dawn of a bright new age. All right, sure. Hey, professor, do you mind if I complain about something? Well, personal? Of course you don't. This army is almost all single men. If that marital status came before or during the war, I'm not to say. The point is, I'm in charge of the infirmary. I wind up treating hundreds of men every week. I get to talk to all sorts of men from all walks of life, all of the time. And yet... And yet you don't have a boyfriend? No, not one of these men is infatuated with their caregiver. Isn't that supposed to happen in wartime? At this point, I'm just hoping you stay single too. Then at least we can share each other's misery. Oh, Manuela, always got her eyes on the prize. Indeed. When Edelgard first invited me to join this army, I, to be frank, thought her dream utterly ridiculous. But at my advanced age, I was tempted by the notion of chasing a seemingly impossible dream through blood, sweat, and tears. Five years on, the unification of Bodlin is slowly becoming a reality. Now, I feel, it may soon be possible to abolish the nobility and create a world where none need suffer due to crests. Really? That's the only option we have? You need not say anything. I will stay by your side and hers to the very end. But I can see why Hanneman might uh, might go along with this in the end. Uh, simply because he loves Crest so much and that's why he doesn't want anyone to suffer for them. And what is the nobility cause but lots of suffering? by virtue of their crests. When you think of it, as one approaches the end of a war, the sacrifices only grow larger, don't they? The winning side musters their forces and attempts to strike a decisive blow, while those of the losing side make desperate attempts to turn the war in their favor. Neither side will give. I only wish we'd consider those who lose their lives in that struggle. Uh, well, we're far from safe ourselves, I guess. I don't know if I like any of these answers. Yes, exactly my point. Let's be careful to ensure we don't lose our own lives, Professor. Well, I guess Linhart liked my answer. That's good enough for me. Lord Arendelle. As long as he exists, Lady Edelgard will... Just who is that man? Hmm. I believe I have explained before that he is the one who commanded the likes of Solon and Cronia. Cornelia, whom we defeated at Arian Road, was also one of his. An irksome sort. We must not fail to be rid of him. He is a maggot. Crawling in the filth of the world, feeding off the Empire like a parasite. Uh, his quest is just in, uh, another supply run, I think. I believe Cornelia... I have a request for you. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, sure. It doesn't matter. Well done, Here you Professor. go. Thank you. A little extra spending money that I don't need. Spent it all. I've stocked up as best as I can, really. What we got here? Mary Ann?
What are you praying for? Uh, for your safety. Oh, how sweet. I'll do all I can to survive. But please, please don't die out there, Professor. No. Hmm. Uh, Ignatz is over here somewhere. Hey, Professor. Once the Kingdom Capital falls, all of Fodland will be united under the banner of the Empire. Isn't it thrilling? We're going to make history. Uh, stay calm and focus on the battle, I guess? Yes, of course. I'll do my best. Our opponents may be strong, but with you on our side, we can't lose. Of course, that does bring to mind uh, one of my favorite lines from Skies of Arcadia. Uh, this is a battle... Well, I'm paraphrasing here, but this is a battle that will go down in history. But it's up to us how they'll remember it. Uh, where's Lawrence? Downstairs. What? Hmm. Personally, I take no issue with attacking Lady Rhea. Really? But the eagerness of my fellow nobles does vex me despite so many grand displays of piety from them in the past. It gives the impression that faith is little more than a tool they use to maintain their positions of power. Uh, disappointed in the nobility, then? I suppose I am in no position to judge them, being among their number myself. Still, it irritates me. What is a noble's duty, truly? I hope we will discover an answer in the conflict ahead. Well, at least Lawrence is slowly but surely waking up. Um, it's not your imagination. Uh, you usually know what you're talking about. I just can't remember when I would have said it. I guess I should have matched his enthusiasm. Oh well. How you feeling, Ferdinand? Ferdinand, the kingdom capital. From the Empire's perspective, it seems like the northernmost edge of the world. I have come a long way following you and Edelgard. To think, what if I had succeeded Duke Iyer as Prime Minister? I would never have had all these experiences. Oh, you've really grown up. I hope that is true. I used to be so naive. For now, let us join together and walk the path that Her Majesty lays out. I could use a hand. Uh, oh, this guy just wants some herbs. Hmm. Let's see, who's here? Ah, Mercedes. When I first enrolled in the officer's academy, I never thought it would come to this. I can't believe we're waging war against the church, no less. Uh, are you ready to face this? Yes. Of course. Even if our enemy is Lady Rhea herself, I am prepared to fight. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, let's go to the classroom. What do you say? I've been thinking about how we've got our own ideas about justice, and so does the kingdom. And what's coming? It's not just a battle between us and them. It's our ideals that are fighting. Whoever wins will say they were right and the other side was wrong. And I get it. That's how it goes. But nobody's willing to talk or compromise. So we'll fight to the death to prove the other guys wrong. It won't be an easy battle. But let's make sure we come back alive. Right, Professor? All right, Sylvain. Who's here? Ah, uh, it's Bernie, of course. 
like this is leading up to the final chapter in a book or something. Is the battle ahead really going to be that climactic? Am I not taking it seriously enough? You're fine. You really think so? All right, I believe you. I'm ready for this. I am. Yeah, we're going to win. That's the spirit. Uh... Yeah, we'll go here next. Professor. It's kind of going around at a whim anyway. We're almost to the kingdom capital of Ferdiad. Just imagine. The war might almost be over. But is it true that Aryan Road was annihilated? What in the world happened? What is the Saros Church really? Uh for now just trust in me. Really a non-answer, but okay. I always have, and I always will. All right, I'm glad that's settled. Uh, did you want something? Sorry, I was a bit lost in thought. Or rather, I was thinking about work. My brother had sorted out all his personal affairs. Apparently, he'd forgotten about his work duties. So now I've got a ton more work on my plate. Oh, brother, why must it be so careless? Once this war is over, I'm going to take a vacation and get some well-earned rest back home with my mother. All right, you do that, Flash. The idea of defeating Raya is beginning to feel more like a reality. Some may say that I'm returning her goodwill with betrayal, but I believe I've worked off my debt. The real problem is a certain someone else. Uh, Catherine? That's right. She was my partner, after all. I haven't seen her since leaving the Knights. I can see her coming to slaughter me, driven by her mixed emotions of love and hate. Yeah, that's a real rough one, Shamir. Good thing you won't be on the battlefield. Uh... Alright, let's finish up on the stable side, I guess. was known as the master tactician there wasn't a situation he couldn't strategize his way out of whereas king dimitri is known as the tempest king he is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield we still haven't ever faced him head on can we do this uh we can yes of course we can i'm sorry i let my uncertainty get the better of me we have you and we have edelgard not to mention many other allies we can rely upon. Together, we can overcome even the most formidable foe. Yeah, we can. Oh, uh, there's Petra. I have worries. What have I been achieving? When the war is ended, I will be returning to Bridget with many, uh, much new potential. But have I had enough growth to become the ruler? Oh, for sure. I have gratitude. I will take your words into my heart. Rigid pride, techniques, and culture. I will be showing all of the world who we are. Professor? As gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Time has finally come to set out for the kingdom capital, Ferdiad. I thought the same thing last month, but I still can't believe the plan was to ambush Aryan Road. I know it couldn't be helped, but even I wasn't let in on the secret. Me? Not gonna lie, that hurt a little. Ah, well, let's forget about that. I'm praying for your victory and your safe return. Sorry, gatekeeper. Like the war is gonna end soon. Once the dust settles, it'll be back to rolling in fat stacks of gold for me. Uh, okay. Keep your eyes on the prize, Anna. Uh, Alright, uh, whatever. Not worried about her her quest. <laughs> Yeah. 
pardon me. I hear that House Blathed commands some strong and well-trained troops. People say they're fiercely devoted and will gladly die for their king. Reminds me of Lenato's men, the ones we faced back in Magdrid. Unlike those civilian soldiers, though, here we're up against the best that the Fargus army has to offer. It's going to be a hard battle, but if there's a peaceful tomorrow waiting on the other side, it'll be worth it. All right, Ash. Glad you're feeling it. Let's see, I think I just need to sweep up through here and that'll be Perhaps. be pretty much the end of it. If we win this battle, it will be an Almost, end but not to the kingdom quite. and to the church. Under the Empire, an era of peace would begin. Many people are cleaving to this notion, but I wonder if it would really end up as such. Well, it's hard to say, I guess. It's true. It's nothing but hypotheticals at this point. I wonder, is the collapse of Aryan Road really the church's doing? Or could it be that... Hmm. Never mind me. Just thinking aloud. Uh, she's always been sharp, that Lysithia. Professor, I'm sure my father will be waiting in Ferdiad. If I can avoid it, I'd rather not fight him. But I don't think my father is capable of betraying the royal family. Of betraying Dimitri. I must be prepared to do what I have to. Eh, don't push yourself too hard, Annette. I'm alright. I still stand by my decision to trust in you. Professor, let's make sure we win. Eh, you got it. Uh... Uh, of course, Raphael is by the sauna. How about that? Next up is the kingdom's capital. We're coming for you. Whoa, that sounds familiar. Have I said that before? All right, let's try this again. Because apparently, Caspar and Raphael are two peas in a pod. Yeah, let's do it, Professor. I just got to get my muscles prepped and ready first. All right, uh, yeah, let's try the sword tournament. Um, who's going to be my best candidate for it, though? Uh, probably Yuritsa. Let's try that. Ritz is pretty strong. Child's play. All right. Who's next? Another assassin? All right. He may not be able to outspeed anyone here, but he's definitely got the endurance and, uh, and the strength to pull this out. And finally, someone he can double. Oh, I don't want to withdraw. All right. Of course, uh, Miss Mortal Savant here is, uh, I gonna say, she's capable of doing some real damage, but she whiffed, so, oops. Thanks, Yurita. Got a master seal that I will not make use of. I used to call my father the Shield of Fargus. Now he's gone, and Aryan Road has fallen. Yet the Knights of Saros remain. 
as does the boar. And what terrifies me most is his stubbornness. We'll keep on fighting to the last man. He's a monster. I've seen it firsthand. Yeah. What? Come to know, right? Uh, whoops. Just read my map. Oh, hey, Eloise. I wonder what the captain would say if he knew we were planning to take down Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea and Captain Gerald went back pretty far. But hey, it's your decision. I'm sure he would have understood in the end. Now, onward to Ferdiad. I'm ready. Uh, Gerald did always have his suspicions. The war is at its end. Has the time finally come? Kill you. Uh, battle will continue even beyond the war. It is true. Those petulant fleas must be picked off one by one. They are nothing if not persistent. All right. Uh, that settles that. I think that's everyone on the surface, which means. Go check in with our favorite DLC characters. Professor. Hey, you, listen up. I've got something to report. The war is careening headfirst toward its grand finale. Do me a favor and get through this mess alive, okay? After the dust settles, maybe I'll go on to guard other entrances in other parts of the world. I'm a dreamer, my friend. Always have been. Thanks, Abyss Keeper. Professor, the war of Fodlin unification is finally reaching its climax. I must surpass myself in the struggle to come, if Her Majesty is to recognize my power. Let's go for it together, Constance. But don't you see? Your presence would diminish the grandeur of my achievements. Oh, my bad. The culmination of all my studies, all my magical experiments, shall be unleashed in battle! Well, she's excited and uh, good for her. Right, who's hiding where? Balthus is over here, of course. No, oh, it's finally time to take on Ferdiad. I can't wait to get in there and show him what I'm made of. Hopefully, I get a go at that Dimitri guy before all is said and done. Yeah, oh, why would you want that, Balthus? They say he has inhuman strength, yeah? Best way to find out is to throw fists with the guy. He may be the Tempest King of Ferdiad, but I'm the grappling king of the world. My domain is way bigger. Grab a front row seat if you can manage. These arms of mine will knock some sense back into that toe head of his. Oh, Balthus, never change. Hey, uh. Except maybe that whole debt thing. You might want to change that at some point. If we win this next battle, it won't just be a victory against the kingdom, but also the church. Maybe they'll all die. Even the people from the church who lied to me and locked me up. Um. Hmm. Would that bother you, Happy? I don't care either way. If they died, I would say, well, that happened, and move on. I don't owe them my compassion. They've never shown me any. Alright, she seems pretty resolute in that. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to try to dissuade her. Hey, Yuri. Road died in Arian Road. I know Edelgard is saying it's the church's fault, and she hasn't been shy to express that. But that doesn't seem right to me. Well, if not the church, then who, Yuri? You should ask Edelgard or Hubert. They'd know more than I do. Some think that all we have to do is take down Ferdiad to end the war. But I don't think it's quite that simple. Well, we'll see. We'll see very soon. Want to make uh, one last check on the 
surface for uh, for closing things down for leaving the monastery uh, I guess I'll go turn in the quest why not I did go through the trouble of picking up the herb I might as well give it to the guy How about thanks I'm glad I asked you But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any speech bubbles, characters I haven't talked to. Guess that's it. That's the final visit to the monastery. No, final exploration. You know what I mean.